Katie just just trying to cover all their shooters. Yeah, so tough. Not, not just not just Caitlin, and that became a tough tough guard for you guys, right? Yeah, um, it, you know, credit to them. Obviously, uh, Caitlin puts you puts a lot of pressure on you to to try to scheme or do whatever it is you you can. Obviously, Gabby Marshall got her got you know saw the ball go through the basket at Rutgers, um, so she comes out sees it go through here. Um, you know, we didn't do a good job. Like we wanted to lane extra passes, make them try to you know fake it, and then shoot you know second guess it a little bit. We didn't do a very good job of doing that. Um, so it felt like they were shooting some wide open shots. Um, 25 point loss. That's, that the the thing that's hard for me to swallow right now is that's a 15 point loss, and we let that get to 25. Right? We didn't finish the basketball game the way I thought we competed for most of the game, um, and that that's that's hard for me to swallow right now. But hats off to them. Uh, obviously, number three in the country, uh, best player um, on their team that we've seen in a very very long time, if not ever. Um, glad we don't see him again. Hopefully, we see him in the Big Ten tournament. Glad we don't go out there. Um, Caitlin, go to the WNBA, please. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just a, a follow up there. Something I know you preached on when you looked at the UCLA and Notre Dame games, yeah. finishing the game. Man. So you're a little bit surprised I, that, that I'm a happened. little bit pissed off right now, Mike. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Um, the the thing like I hadn't seen that since UCLA, us not finishing a game. In the, in the fourth quarter at UCLA, we didn't finish. And that's what's disheartening. Because um, it was a 15-point game with four and a half minutes to go. They go on a 9-0 run. I call timeout, pushes it to 24, right? Like, that's that. We have tomorrow off, but we'll practice on Friday. But can the overall effort and what you guys thought, did tonight, was really, can, you know, it, can honestly, this carry over? Yeah, other, other than the last, you know, for 36 minutes, I thought we competed our butts off. I, obviously, they made shots. We, we had some missed opportunities. Um, for, it's a 14-point game at halftime. We miss a free, we get a free throw line violation, miss a free throw line, box out, two points. Uh, first play of the game, rim run layup. Uh, they've got two other rim run layups. That's eight points. Should be a six-point game at halftime. If we can control it, we can control it. We did it. Outside of that, I thought we competed really hard for 36 minutes. Coach, how do you correct that? I mean, one thing to you know. Tape say. doesn't lie, Ethan. Tape, tape doesn't lie. We'll, we'll watch the tape and, and we'll we'll get better. Um, yeah, as as a follow-up question uh, to to Janae, had a pretty good um, shooting night from her. Um, you looking for her to maybe stay aggressive in in that fourth quarter and, and and shoot the shot she knows that she knows that she's capable of? Yeah, in general, right? For 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 the fourth quarter, for the game, for the you know the rest of the season, if teams are gonna be like play off of her like that, she's got to shoot it with confidence. She she you know we knew that they weren't gonna guard her. Um, and so she put in some extra work after practice, and it showed today, um, you know. But we just we just got to keep working at it, so keep staying with it, um, and keep trusting that she's going to put in that, that work. Yeah, and 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 just to follow up to my to my first question is, you know, how do you maintain that level of intensity, you know, coming toward toward the end of the game where you know maybe maybe you're coasting a little bit and you know making sure, hey, you know, we got to still finish this and. Finish that strong. That's what I wanted to ask in the first place. Yeah, there's six letters on our chest that we have to play for for 40 minutes. And if it takes 45 or 50 minutes, whatever it is, the six letters on our chest and the people standing next to us and fighting for us are the people. That's why. We, that's that's what we have to do. We have to play hard for that. Hey, Katie, over here. Um, hey, Steve. I thought you got a good effort out of Stevenson, and, and I think that she's going to be a good foundation for you. Talk a little bit about her. And I thought I seen some promise out of Smith today. Uh, th honestly, the Jayla looked really good, and, and and she had been battling and fighting some, some some own kind of like self doubt, right? And I thought she she looked really good today, so we'll take that and and, and build on that for, with her. Um, I think Ma is gonna be special. I thought Kate Martin did a really good job of playing with her head a little bit. I, I think a couple times Ma reverse pivot has her jump shot. Kate's you know a fifth year senior. Ma is an 18 year old freshman. Um, I think Ma passed up some open shots. Outside of that, she battled her butt off. Um, wouldn't expect anything less. Um, you know, from, from number 20 on our team. Katie, bigger hey. than basketball, I know you can kind of appreciate having a full house here. For some of your girls to have an opportunity to play in this environment, regardless of why the people were here, we kind of know that Caitlin was part of the draw. But to have wait, a... What? You're right. No, what? Wait, what, what? 22? <laughs> what? But to have Mackie full, to have them here, to, yeah. have, to have people, ex maybe for some of them their first Purdue game, to have a chance to see your girls play in an environment like this. Yeah, and, and that's, why, that's why I think I'm so pissed off, right? Like, is that 
for 36 minutes, those people saw us compete really hard, right? Like, we've got a battle for 40 minutes. Um, we've got a lot of freshmen on our team that, that hadn't experienced this environment. environment. Obviously, last year at Indiana, we got 17,000 people here uh, or there. Here, it's a packed house. Expect the same thing when, when, the, when those guys come here. Uh, but just the evolution of our game. Um, obviously, you, you, you credit Caitlin a lot for that, um, for, for what she's brought to our game. But I think, you know, you're seeing us more on TV, the women's game more on TV. You're seeing more on social media. Um, like, women can hoop. Um, 22 can hoop, but we got some kids who can hoop in the country, right? On our team across the country. Um, and I think the more people come out to see, uh, the more they'll find, okay, let me bring my buddy. Like, because women can flat out hoop. You kind of went where I was going with this. Um, but this, the opportunity to market yourself, because there's going to be more eyeballs on this game um, with what Caitlin brings. Um, and obviously, you say that's why you're so pissed off. But mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, if you go out and play well, this is a chance to showcase Purdue as well as right. just, you know, what, what typically the people right. that would be watching your team. Right, and for 36 minutes, we did that, right? Like, they're, they're what, 15-1, and one, number three in the country, right? You, you, you expect them to win this basketball game, but for 36 minutes, we competed our butts off. We kind of make up for the, the egg we laid at UCLA, the egg we laid at Notre Dame. We, we, we have a good showing, and it turns into a 25-point loss, and that's not lost on us that that, that matters in the net. Um, but this game was not 25 points. Katie, question for you about 22 and just pl game planning for someone like that. 22, who's that? I don't know, uh, but whoever she is, uh, when you plan for someone like that, it's very different when you go in at halftime and kind of see how someone like that can kind of adjust to the game. What do you say at halftime about, you know, keeping pace or what you wanted them mm -hmm. to do defensively? Yeah, honestly, I thought, you know, they hit some shots, um, it, but I, I thought instead of a 14-point game, we, you know, the message was like, y'all, this could be a six-point game. Like, finish plays, a couple loose balls, 50-50 balls they got their hands on, we didn't quite finish. Uh, understand that she was going to make some shots. We wanted, to, we wanted to, to try to take away her left hand. She got a couple in transition. She hit a, a nasty one to her right hand in front of our bench. And, like, that's just stuff that we were giving her. Um, Sid comes in off the bench, and she's, ma she's made four threes all year, hits two in a game. Um, like th that kind of thing. So, and she hit one in the first half. So we thought, okay, that's the six points that we could have had. This game could have been tied. Um, but like, y you're not gonna stop her, right? You you try to you try to contain her. You try to make her work for everything. You try to make you know don't let her get her rhythm threes to her left hand. Not the no the lo not the logo threes. Um, and we let we let her loose a little bit. Our, our traps weren't tight enough on her. And we talked about those things at halftime. But um, I thought in the second half, outside you know for 36 for for 16 minutes, it's a one point game. Um, in the second half until the last four and a half minutes, whatever it was. Appreciate y'all. Go Chiefs.